Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. a squared minus b squared is equal to 9 and ab is equal to 3. Our job is to find all possible values of a plus b. So let's start by squaring both sides of this equation. The equation is a squared minus b squared is equal to 9. We square both sides of this equation. By using this algebraic identity x minus y whole squared is equal to x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. This a squared minus b squared whole squared will become a squared whole squared plus uh, b squared whole squared minus 2 times uh, a squared b squared is equal to 9 squared is uh, 81. Now this uh, a squared whole squared will become a to the power 4 plus uh, this uh, b squared whole squared will become b to the power 4 minus 2 times this a squared b squared can be written as a times b whole squared is equal to 81. Now we replace this a times b with this value 3. So this will become a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 minus 2 times 3 squared is equal to 81. Next, a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 minus 2 times this 3 squared will become 9 is equal to 81. Next, a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 minus 2 times 9 is 18 is equal to 81. Move this negative 18 to the right hand side so this will become a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 is equal to 81 plus 18. Next a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 is equal to 81 plus 18 will become 99. Now this a to the power 4 can be written as a squared whole squared plus and this b to the power 4 can be written as b squared whole squared. And to make this a perfect square we add here 2a squared b squared is equal to 99 and because we have added 2a squared b squared at the left hand side we add 2a squared b squared at the right hand side. Now by using this algebraic identity x squared plus uh, y squared plus uh, 2xy is equal to x plus y whole squared. This expression at the left hand side will become a squared plus uh, b squared whole squared is equal to 99 plus 2 times this a squared b squared can be written as a times b whole squared and in this equation we replace this a times b with this value of a times b 3. a times b is equal to 3. So this equation will become a squared plus b squared whole squared is equal to 99 plus 2 times value of a b is 3 whole squared 
next a squared plus b squared whole squared is equal to 99 plus 2 times 3 squared is 9 next a squared plus b squared whole squared is equal to 99 plus 2 times 9 will become 18 next a squared plus b squared whole squared is equal to 99 plus 18 will become 117. Now to remove this square we take square root of both sides. At left hand side we take square root and at the right hand side we take square root. So this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we are left with a squared plus b squared is equal to plus minus square root of this 117 can be written as 9 times 13 x a squared plus b squared is equal to plus or minus this will become root 9 times root 13 next a squared plus b squared is equal to plus minus square root of 9 is 3 times root 13 means we get two values of a squared plus b squared is equal to positive 3 times root 13 and a squared plus b squared is equal to negative 3 times root 13. Now square of any number is always greater than 0. So this a squared is greater than 0 this b squared is also greater than 0 and sum of two squares cannot be a negative number since this negative 3 times root 13 is less than 0 this will be rejected and we accept only this value of a squared plus b squared 3 times root 13 now by using this algebraic identity x squared plus y squared is equal to x plus y whole squared minus 2xy. This a squared plus b squared can be written as a plus b whole squared minus 2ab is equal to 3 times root 13. And in this equation we replace this ab with the value of a b 3 a b is equal to 3 so this equation will become a plus b whole squared minus 2 times 3 is equal to 3 times root 13 next a plus b whole squared minus 2 times 3 will become 6 is equal to 3 times root 13. We move this negative 6 to the right hand side this will become a plus b whole squared is equal to 6 plus 3 times root 13. Now from here we take square root of both sides a plus b whole squared and we take square root at the left hand side is equal to 6 plus 3 times root 13 we take square root on the right hand side. So this square will be cancelled out with this square root 
we get the value of a plus b is equal to plus or minus square root of 6 plus 3 times root 13. It means we get two values a plus b is equal to positive square root of 6 plus 3 times root 13 and a plus b is equal to negative square root of 6 plus 3 times root 13. So, these are the two required value of a plus b.